Grace to you and peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are nearing the end of Lent. This Sunday will be Palm Sunday, which kicks off Holy Week. And then, of course, a week from this Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We've been on this journey together, this journey of letting go and letting God, as our theme has been. And as I prepared for this morning's devotional, looking at our Living Compass, Living Well Through Lent 2022, I was reminded reading today's devotion that it echoes much of what I wrote in my March from the Rector piece for the Advent Parish paper. A nice link, the beginning and end of Lent. This is by Robin Brent. It's never too late. There's a quote he begins with from Ted Loder, Gorillas of Grace. Help me to believe in beginnings, to make a beginning, to be a beginning, so that I may not just grow old, but grow new each day of this wild, amazing life you call me to live with the passion of Jesus Christ. Living Compass frequently uses a saying to underscore the importance of where we place our attention and focus. Whatever you pay attention to in your life is what will grow. To help us cultivate and nurture life-enhancing habits, let's focus on the powerful benefits of a daily practice of gratitude. Some of the many gifts that come from finding things for which to be grateful include enhancing and growing our circle of friends and close relationships, improving physical and psychological health, enhancing empathy and reducing aggression, improving sleep and self-esteem, and increasing mental strength. We know that holding on to negative feelings, such as guilt, shame, disappointments, and embarrassments, can drain us of our health and vitality. Choosing to let go of these feelings and nurturing ourselves in mind, body, and spirit is a gift we can offer to God. It is a way to express our deep gratitude for all the gifts and blessings God has freely given to us. No matter what unhealthy choices we've made or regrets we have about the past, it is never too late to begin making healthier happier choices. Today, this moment, is a new beginning. Let's make it count. Making it personal. As we explore gratitude, what might we need to let go of in order to receive and share those gifts? For the remainder of Lent, I invite you to consider committing to a daily practice of gratitude. A simple way to begin is to list three things for which you are grateful. Each day, take a few moments to notice what you are seeing and experiencing and what you are grateful for. In that article I wrote for the March newsletter, which really was the kickoff to Lent as Ash Wednesday was March 2nd, I did ask us, I guess challenge us, or suggest that we might take a few moments at the beginning and at the end of each day to think of five things we are grateful for. I hope that if you have done this practice, that you have found it to be life-giving and meaningful, a way to mark these days of Lent, these days of preparation for that wonderful, amazing gift of God's greatest act of love, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. We are indeed grateful above all else for the miracle of Easter. And that miracle, that new life in Christ, is indeed something to give thanks. It will nurture us. If we are able to meditate and think and live our lives In that reminder, if 
we're able to live our lives in the shadow of the great love of God through Jesus Christ, I think we will indeed find that letting go and letting God becomes a little easier every day. Thank you. God bless you and keep you.